we've learned a little bit about what we can do with spreadsheets let's try an example we're going to create a spreadsheet that just uh, identifies a few baseball players and we're going to make some calculations uh, based on those statistics so I'm going to go ahead and click the button to create a new spreadsheet and I'm going to change the name of my spreadsheet we'll call it baseball stats and I'm going to go ahead and create some column headers here. I'm going to call it one player. I'm going to say at bats, which is the number of times they've been up to bat. We'll say we'll have the number of hits and the number of walks they have. And then we'll perform some calculations based on this data. So I'm going to make these bold just so we know that they're headers. And I'm going to also say batting average here. And we're going to say on base percentage. So we're going to hit bold and we'll go ahead and make this column a little bit wider just so it looks there we go we'll make this one a little wider too very good now we're going to enter a few players we'll say we'll enter Martin and he had 379 at bats 110 hits and 42 walks and we'll just finish entering our data then we'll perform some calculations we'll say Davis had 336 hits or 336 at bats 79 hits and 36 walks Walker had 512 at bats, 139 hits, and 36 walks. Uh, Mercer had 506 at bats, 129 hits, and 25 walks. And then Alvarez had 398 at bats, 92 hits, and 32 walks. So now that we have this information available, we can very easily perform some calculations. So if we want to know the batting average, batting average is pretty easy. We're just going to call, we're going to hit our equals button, and we're going to say batting average is equal to the number of hits divided by the number of at-bats. And if I hit enter, we should see here a nice big long number. Now typically, our batting averages are not that large, so we could actually make, or not that long, we can make that shorter though, we can just say we're going to make this three decimal points. There we go. So we have 290. Now we could go ahead and hit equals and do the same thing for each one of these, one after another, but that's going to get very tedious. So we don't actually have to do that. Google Sheets gives you a couple of options on how you can do this. You can either copy this cell, then select the next four cells and paste which will give us a nice commonly formatted way to do this and the great thing is that Google doesn't Google Sheets doesn't copy the exact cell references here it copies and changes so as I copy this to a different location it calculates what the difference between those two cells should be and it applies the, or it applies that throughout your formula throughout your calculation so you can see here each one of these now is is exactly what we want now our on base percentage is going to be calculated by identifying uh, how many times a player has been hit or has hit or walked and dividing that by the at-bat. So we're going to hit equals and we're going to add hits plus walks divided by the number of at-bats. And we'll go ahead and format this the same way. Actually we can modify this one and we can use our formula. We're going to say round and then we can just type in this and then we'll say three decimal places and there we go we have 401 now so we can use the formula instead of using the formatting there either way it doesn't really make much of a difference the only difference is that the actual value here is going to be much or much longer you know we can always move the decimal points but we're going to get more and more detail whereas for this calculation if we change the number of decimal points well, see, it's not actually going to give us all of that extra detail because round is changing the actual value as opposed for this cell as opposed to just changing the way it's formatted. So if we bring that down, there we go. So that's the other way we can copy a formula is we can just select that and hover over the little handle at the bottom right and just pull that down. And here we go. We don't have one here. We'll see here we get an error. And errors do occur from time to time if you've performed something in a formula that doesn't quite work out. So we can go ahead and delete this because there's no values there. So this gives us a good idea of how to perform some basic calculations, but we could also aggregate all of this for all of the players. So if we want to know the max batting average and the min average for the team, we could say 
use the max of these values and the min of these values. And we can do the same thing for our on base percentage. Max, and we'll use max of these values. Just go ahead and select those. And min of these values. We could also use this to compare to some other teams. Maybe we want to know uh, which team has the best batting average. We could use average. So we'll say the average average is average. And then we can go ahead and select all of these. And then we'll see what the average batting average is across the team. And we could also, you know, we could use this to tally. And we could say, all right, we're going to have our total here. And we can use the sum function to sum up all of these at-bats. So we know that there have been 21, 31, 2,131 at-bats across all of these players. And we can, again, copy this across using the handle or just copying and then selecting those other two cells and pasting. So you can see we have uh, 549 hits and 171 walks. So you can see how it's pretty easy to, per to perform some of these calculations. We don't have to enter them over and over again. Google Sheets will kind of do some of the work for us so that we don't have to think too hard on exactly how we're going to apply these calculations at time after time after time. Thanks for watching. And our next uh, video will give you a chance to build a spreadsheet on your own using some of these functions.